All right, let's talk about the Tableau 2024.1 release. And look, this is way more than just a simple update. It's really a fundamental shift in how pretty much everyone in a company can find and actually use their data. We're moving from a world of reactive analysis to one of proactive, intelligent insight. I mean, just think about that for a second. We've all been there, right? You're drowning in spreadsheets, you've got dashboards everywhere, reports coming out of your ears, but finding one clear, simple answer? It feels like a full-time job. It's the super common frustration, and it's exactly what this new release is setting out to fix. And that really is the heart of the problem, isn't it? We're swimming in this ocean of data, but true understanding, those real insights, they feel just out of reach. So this release, it's all about building that bridge, turning that massive ocean of data into something you can actually use. So to really get into it, we've broken this down into four key parts. First, we'll look at how AI is bringing insights directly to you. Then we'll talk about how to get everyone on the same page with their numbers, finally. After that, how the whole platform is getting more flexible and inclusive. And last, we'll wrap it all up with what this actually means for you in your day-to-day. Okay, let's dive into the first section because this one is arguably the biggest game changer of the whole release. We're talking about making data proactive with this incredible new tool called Tableau Pulse. And it's a huge deal because it completely changes who gets to have a conversation with data. So what exactly is Tableau Pulse? Well, it's not just another dashboard or some little feature. They're calling it a completely reimagined data experience. The whole idea here is to give you insights that are smart, that are tailored just for you, and that pop up right where you're already working, whether that's in Slack, your email, or even on your phone. The difference here is just night and day. You know, the old way, you kind of had to be an analyst. You had to build the visualizations, slice and dice the data, and really hunt for the story. The new way, it uses generative AI to do all that heavy lifting for you, and it just serves you the story. In plain English, it's a huge shift from data hunting to just data having. So how does it pull this off? Well, Pulse automatically summarizes what's going on. It actually anticipates what you might want to ask next. And this is the most important part. It helps you understand the why behind a number changing. And the best part, this is included with all Tableau Cloud Editions. So this power is accessible to everyone. And listen, this isn't just something you're chained to your desk for. That whole in your flow idea, it extends to wherever you happen to be. Tableau Pulse is fully available on mobile, so you can stay on top of your most important metrics without being glued to your computer. And the workflow itself is just so smooth. You get a digest in your email or Slack with your key numbers. If something catches your eye, you just tap it. That's it. You're taken right into the Tableau mobile app where you can dig in deeper with all the AI-powered tools. It's really that simple. Okay, so for any of this AI magic to actually be useful, it has to be built on a foundation of trust. And that's exactly where the new metrics layer comes in. It's designed to solve one of the oldest, most annoying problems in the world of data. Ugh, we have all been in that meeting. Marketing's got one number for new customers. Sales has a totally different one. And what happens? Trust just evaporates. And making any kind of decision grinds to a halt. This data inconsistency, it's the villain of our story. But the metrics layer is the hero. It lets you create one single standard definition for a metric, like, say, monthly active users. You can add business context to it, like whether a spike is good or bad, and then that single definition can be used everywhere by everyone. It's basically a universal dictionary for your company's data. And this is the critical connection right here. This trusted metrics layer is what gives Tableau Pulse its superpowers. Because everyone agrees on what the metric actually means, the AI can give you way more powerful and most importantly, reliable answers to those what and why questions. So we've got trusted, proactive insights. Awesome. Now let's talk about how the platform itself is becoming more accessible for everyone. And I mean that in two ways, more flexible for IT teams and more inclusive for every single user. If you're an IT leader, you know the headache of buying and managing software for a whole organization. Well, this release brings some major quality of life improvements, specifically designed to make that whole process a lot smoother. So for the first time ever, Tableau Cloud is available right on the AWS Marketplace. This is a really big deal. It means you can consolidate your billing through AWS, which gives you a much clearer, single view of your company's total IT spend. It just streamlines everything. Now look at this slide. Just one number, five terabytes. That is the new expanded data storage limit for Tableau Cloud customers who have enterprise licenses and advanced management. 
That's a massive jump up from the standard one terabyte, giving you so much more room to work with all your data. But you know, making things easier for IT is only half the story. True accessibility is about people. It's about making sure that every single person, no matter their physical abilities, can explore and understand data. And here's a perfect example of that commitment. This idea came straight from the Community Ideas Forum. It's called Viz Navigation for Text Tables, and it lets users navigate through data using only a keyboard and assistive tech like screen readers. It's a huge step forward for inclusivity, letting more people engage with data without needing a mouse. All right, let's bring it all home. We've talked about AI, a single source of truth, in making things more accessible. So what does this new era of data empowerment actually look like for you in your job? Well, the impact really depends on your role. If you're a business user, pulls means you're getting AI-driven answers right in your workflow. If you're an analyst, the metrics layer means you can build a trusted metric once and know it's being used correctly everywhere. And for an IT leader, you get simpler purchasing and more accessible dashboards. There's truly something in here for everyone. And you know, it's so important to remember where these ideas come from. These innovations don't just happen in a vacuum. They are a direct result of all the feedback, the creativity, and the real-world problems that the global Tableau community brings to the table. And that really just leaves us with one big final question. For years, the challenge has been trying to get answers from our data. Now, the platform is ready to just tell you, in plain language, the bottleneck isn't the technology anymore. It's the quality of our questions. 